Welcome to our three-part video series where we would like to demonstrate how Pomovista 500 can be used in the clinical routine. In order to demonstrate all of this, we will look at patient data from a clinical study. The study covers a post-operative patient after cardiac surgery with a healthy lung, which was partly de-recruited as a result of the anesthesia. However, you can already see here in the title image in dorsal region number four, that there is a gray zone. The gray shape represents the contour of ventilated area, which detects all the pixels that could be ventilated during the displayed time period. So this gray region right here indicates that there is no ventilation taking place. According to the applied study protocol, the PEEP was optimized based on the global dynamic compliance from the ventilator. You can see in this data during the decremental PEEP trial that the compliance, which is shown in pink, only drops at a PEEP level of 6. This is also indicated by this green line, which represents the PEEP level. So this is why, according to the global compliance, a PEEP level of 8 has been chosen as the best PEEP level. During the remaining steps, the global compliance was more or less unchanged. The basic principle of this trend view is to compare two different time points. Cursor number 1 should always be used as a reference and cursor number 2 should be used as a comparison point. Each cursor is represented by its own title image and the corresponding trend table values. You can find the values for cursor number one here and for number two right here. So first we have to set a reference point. This should be set before the recruitment maneuver, ideally two or three breaths before the beginning of the maneuver, which is this part right here. We can also see an amplitude increase in our global impedance curve. This is caused by an increase in delta P, which led to higher tidal volumes during our recoupal maneuver. So now when we take our cursor number two, we can move it breath by breath, step by step, to see what is happening inside the thorax of our patient and how the ventilation is redistributed. So this is the baseline right here and we can see the lack of doors of ventilation. Then when we increase our PEEP, like in our example from a PEEP of 5 to 15, we can see a significant increase in our dorsal region number four. So when you increase the inspiratory pressure, you can see how parts of the lung open up. Now, when we compare the regional information corresponding to the status before and during the recruitment maneuver, we can already see a significant change in the images. The tidal image now shows ventilation in region of interest number four. The differential image also shows blue color in this region, indicating a gain of ventilation. But you can also quantify how much more ventilation has been delivered into region number four by looking at the trend table. So in this example, the value of the tidal variation increased from 3% to 15%. With all this information combined, we can clearly see that our patient responded strongly to higher airway pressures. So please click here to find out more about de-recruitment in our next video.